Welcome to Retro Bassin. We are just arriving in Springfield, Illinois for the National Fish and Lure Collectors Club National Meeting. I have got a, a tackle box here, uh, which is empty at the moment, um, but hopefully over the next couple hours, I will be loaded up with some old school gold from some of the various folks who attend this show every year. Behind me is a list of the open rooms for room trading at the NFLCC. Talking to my buddy Mark Ng over at the Big O Connection, he and I are gonna be hooking up in a little bit, and he is gonna walk me around this hotel, introduce me to some of the various lure collectors with lures to sell. <laughs> I feel like I need to be here for a week that truly appreciate everything that this show has to offer. But hopefully over the next hour or two, I will fill up my little tackle box with some old school gold to take back to Texas. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about bill dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. All right, here I am with my buddy Mark Ng, who started the uh, Big O Connection Facebook page. We're here in front of his buddy Randy's uh, room. He's got apparently a ton of old school crankbaits. He is a wiggle board aficionado, but I think most of those he left at home might have a few over at the convention center. But let's head inside and see what we can find. Oh, ooh. Vintage 7s, though. Oh, my goodness. Old, old spinner baits. I don't know when these are probably 70s. Yeah, Mighty Strikler Company. Look at that. <laughs> oh, nice. There's another Mighty Strike. Double. Never double heard of them. Where are they from? I think it's Alabama. Okay. There ain't no uh, name on it. <laughs> Look at all that. <laughs> we all got boxes. How many trips did it take you to get up in here? Well, I got, I had a lot of stuff, so it <laughs> took me like four times. Now, you also four displaying trips. over the convention yeah. center as well? Absolutely. So what's your special? Wiggle warts. Wiggle warts, okay. Bagley's. Okay. He's the guy with the wiggle warts. Yeah. I, I should have brought it, but it's just, I had, look, look at the size of this room. And then there's some vintage stuff there. I see some Bassmaster Classics. The Dan, Danny Brower, Danny Brower, Danny Brower yeah. Bassmaster Classic. Yeah. Here, what I so where'd you get these? Yard sale. Yeah? A yard sale? Yard sale. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Ranger boat. This is a heavy winter jacket. You okay. must have wore this one pretty good. Uh-huh. A yard sale. Did they even know what they had or did you just happen oh, no. to stumble upon no, it? No, no. They knew exactly what they had. Okay. They had tons of lures. Wait a minute. Did you, did you, did you see this right here? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I seen it pretty good. <laughs> So what are the rules of engagement? If the guys are open for business, they're at doors open? Yes, right. yes, and once everybody goes and eats and comes back, there'll be more of that. More of it, okay. Yeah, when the show was open, most of the guys had not ate all day. Yeah. So they're gonna take a shower, get something to eat, and then open up their rooms. Some guys are diehards, and there's one right here. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Oh my Walk goodness. Walk down the hall for the first time, and you wanna look at let that. Midnight, we'll let you look. Oh, that's great. Where y'all come from? North Carolina. Okay. Do y'all, this is a lot of gear. Did you drive it here? Drive, yep. Pickup truck. Woo. 13 and a half hours. That's a good <laughs> one. That sounds like me on my way down to Pigeon Forge. Right. We do Pigeon Forge. Yeah, yeah, I've seen about the last six, there, yeah. six years or so. This ought to be a really good one this year. I, I think... Moving the venue, in my opinion, was probably a good idea. Yeah. That, it's just gotten so big, too. Plus, they just needed a bigger place. It really did. Yeah, it looks like it's a nice venue. The, the new uh, the new host. Well, there, we spoke to him that? well, that's something you don't see every day. And that's going that's on. That's a Tom Mann keychain. Yes. Fish this, World. Uh, he called them Worlds of Wonder, I think they were. And he did birds, snakes. Oh my gosh, he did about everything, didn't he, Tom Man? 
Yeah. I think he did. He did a bunch. Yeah, he did a bunch. Some old Aquasonic. The whole idea, right? That's a... That's a year. Full four DV2. Yeah, you that. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice baby. Pug. There's a little pug nose. Yeah, look at that. I haven't seen a pug in a while. Speaking of big old... Yeah, uh, yeah. Nice little pug. That is a nice pug. Four bucks for the pug. You can't beat it. I think I gotta put some. I gotta. I gotta put something in my box. <laughs> I'll put that one over to the side. Oh, check this stuff out. This is beautiful. So, have you guys displayed all this stuff before it shows? Yeah. Oof. We go to Pigeon Forge and room trade there. Now we'll have tables at Pigeon Forge. We go to Daytona to the Florida Antique Tackle Show. Alright, All right. I'll do this one. Alright. White, red, yellow, Four, white, and silver. There you go. Really? That was the five colors of that little thing. Sarah, appreciate it. Alright, thank you. Alright, first little on the box. That's pretty cool one. Uh, Fred Arbogast, Pugnose, four bucks. Uh, I've actually been wanting to throw one of these, but the ones I've got, i probably spent more than four bucks for, so it's nice to add one to my collection. And that's definitely going to go in my alphabet crankbait box. But for now, we'll just put them right there. Oh, look at that. The Smithwick, uh, that's a nice. Is that a blinker? Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. See that? Only $6.95. That's a, what a deal. <laughs> that's a good looking bait. How much is that guy going for? I'll do $5. You'll do $5 on a blinker? Yeah. Oh, shoot. All right. Done deal. It's better than the uh, sticker price. Yeah. A lot cheaper than wall bars. Especially with the wall, I'm just taking out base and I want it for two and three dollars a piece. You tell me. Alright, well that was a pretty good stop. I picked up two alphabet style crankbaits uh, that I've been wanting to get. A Fred Arbogast pug nose and a blinker. I <laughs> that is awesome. I have got a Bojack or two, but I don't have a blinker. That thing's in the package too. That is a pretty good deal for five bucks. These are... Woo! Oh, you uh, got the peanut. River Cross. Wait, did you just get the peanut? Jimmy Carter peanut. Did you just get that? Yep. So, all right. Yep. Most of the ones I've got don't have that good a paint job. That's like a... Still got the teeth. Yeah, it does have a teeth. Yeah. I've got a gold one though. Yeah. More big O's. More big O's? More big O's. What are More the... More big who, Who's, uh... Who's baits are those? These are Cordell crabs. Ooh. Rebel, well, this is a Rebel, this Cordell. Different face. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> All to the next one. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I got a blinker. I've, I've seen that. Five yeah. bucks. That ain't a bad deal. Oh, buddy, you're going to get some deals here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good stuff. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's live spools. I mean, there's, Oof. there's some uh, good stuff on this table over here. Good. Yeah, it's a real good show that table. So where do y'all sleep? Uh, <laughs> all this shit here goes to look forward, but uh, takes about uh, 10 minutes. Ah, there's the old uh, wiggle, wiggle fish. That's a nice one. Yep. How much is that guy? That's a beat. That guy's a buck and a quarter. Never seen water. Woo! Nice. Looking bait. No. Oh wow, uh, yep, look at those. Shell shark planks. One. No hard yeah, work. Shell shark planks are made uh, right outside right. San Antonio. That's where yeah. I found them. Three, uh, wow, those are cool. Yeah, they're neat. Yeah, they cool. Never had the, never been raised. Never had hardware on them. That's a, that's a cool color too, the old yeah, soul. Yeah, they're, uh, they're two for five dollars. Man, you want to, I want to fish them or make your uh, wife earring out of them or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Hoagies. That's cool. Sort of like an old bingo. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that's a neat one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's older, but uh, yeah. I like that. Cool. Yeah. How much is this guy? $10. $10. That's a good looking bait. Yeah, that's like an old bingo, but that's nice. Uh, what are they, what is, there's a, word, a, a term for that bait. What are they, are they called? The well, so, yeah, so there was a couple different ones. There was um, Doug English 
had the bingo. There was another one called Plug In Shorty, and then there's also the Hump, which is a guy by the name of Humphreys. And they're all basically the same saltwater bait, and they'd fish these underneath a popping cork. Oh, really? And so what you do is you put it underneath a popping cork, and but they were like they just had all these different colors and nice. yep. So that's a neat one. That's, yeah, that's, that's I might grab that one. That's, that's cool. cool. So this is nice. Look at this. This is called Sportsman's Auction. And uh, some nice baits there, huh? Actually, so what is that? Uh, rainbow, I think is the color. Oh, what kind of lure is that? It's a vacuum bait. Yeah. It's a house. Or a box. Very sought after bait. Yeah, there's a lot of. Is that a frog skin bait? It looks like frog skin. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, because Michael Bacon, right yeah, though, Michael Bacon makes some frogs, like and that looks like a, that's actually a frog skin bait. Some of these are so weird. So are these water frogs? The, yeah, you paw paw. Paw paws, yep. Yep. Nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Bait. And then that's heading, right? Is that heading? I believe you, I believe it is. Oh, he's just got numbers on it. Yeah, there's, a, there's one right there in the box. So okay. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ooh, nice. So where'd you get all these bits? These is, are is your own collection, or these are not my collection. This is a this is an old time collector, a long time member. Huh. Um, mm. You know he's uh, he's decided he's uh, moving on. And, okay. And, uh, that's pretty cool. What you made up the flyers for and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's nice. Yep. Yeah. So we're we're excited. Uh, some really good baits. Um, like I said, this is just a portion of of what we got coming. So um, yeah, just kind of. Nice. Be on the lookout for September 10th. Very cool. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Some people do. Oh, they got some Smith looks there, huh? Yeah. Little butterflies. Those are nice. Look at that. Yeah, and I'll have to. I'm going to hang it. Those are nice. How much on the butterflies? Yard put over here about that. Hat. Okay. All three of them? Or each. Well, I want 20 on that one. Uh huh. 10 on that one. Then you buy the two and you get the third one free. Ooh. Otherwise, 15 on it. Thank you. Nice. That's a good looking bait, huh? 30 bucks for the three. That's cool. That one's got a few hurts on it, but. That's all right. That's a good, it's a caster. That's nice. Do you want them? them what is this, though? Oh. That's I mean, wild. Daily double. Daily you can, double? You can fish that from both directions. Oh, right. Hook it on one end, it'll go deeper. Thank you. Oh, so you see that that lip know. is shallower than that yeah, one. Yeah. So that's deeper. Uh, that's shallower. <laughs> made out of a tenite plastic, they call it. Okay. Daily we took double. All bags to the Oof. That's show. really that's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Did you do on the end there? That plastic has a chemical breakdown in it. So yes. If you open up a tackle box, you have a real funky smell. That's a tenite. Or the uh, <laughs> probably yep. the old plastic. Okay. Oh, that's reading Yemen Tony because they thought they were never faced one of those. That's a very cool. How much? I like that bait. How much for the daily double? 20. 20, that's a good looking bait. Think about that. That's cool. Look, I, I, just like, I just like how wild that is. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Something different. No doubt about that. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Now you want to take a picture of these. What are those? Whoa. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Just a few of my better. Oh my goodness. Hmm, what is that one? Gold? Huh? No thing. Hang on a minute. So is that, what kind of uh, river run is that with all That's that? That's a river? no snag river run. A no snag river run. Oh my goodness. Here's the best one. Let's, can I see that one? I've already sold it. That's okay. That's cool. See how it's got the little tab that catches on that? So it's got like a weedless hook on it. Okay. Now look at oh, that one the same way. Huh? Now look then, at this. But then on the front end, it's got, oh my, that's like a lot of hardware. Right. Now look at the, the, the first two years they've made that. Yeah. Then they went to this okay. on all the rest of them. So, but I got a buddy that collects the ones like that. He's got 18 different colors. And 
He gonna buy that one from me tomorrow. How much? Uh, how much does go for out of curiosity? Six hundred bucks. <laughs> That's not a caster, huh? No. Each one of these, huh? Every one of them different. There might be two two duplicates in that. Oh, that's a great collection. That's very cool. That's a that, how does that thing fish? That seems like that's that'd be a that's a lot going on there for a, a crankbait, huh? You tie on the front there and yeah. just through the water. See how she goes. I could cast that thing into a into a tree. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, so a little status update. I picked up yet another bait. This thing is really cool. I've never even heard of this bait. Hopefully that's a good deal for, for 20 bucks. I don't know. That's just a cool looking bait. I just, I just had to have that. I like it. I don't know. It's cool. <laughs> almost looks like something. I've been really into the like Japanese custom lures lately and it almost kind of has that flavor to it. So there's the first three we got so far. So I got a, got a blinker, uh, the old pug nose, and, and now the daily double. Sweet. There was probably, I would say, nine eight, nine rooms on every floor up the last night. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's uh, insanity. And then Jack, Jack's mom for sound, he just drove 12 and a half hours. So most folks, what do they just spend a week here, huh? Uh, mo the older, you know the older guys like to spend, they'll come on Sunday night. <sighs> so, so it is a proper week, because they'll probably stay through Saturday night. Yeah. Now, most S Sunday to Sunday. Saturday, you're right, yes. <laughs> What's the deal with the trash cans outside? Oh, I just told you they've got room trading. Okay. But they didn't take their back ends. But I always put, I have a little trash can with my emblem on it. I put it out there. Okay. And knows I'm open. So it's one of the things where, I mean, you'll see lights. Yeah. On one door, one guy will have a flashing sign. Next guy will have a big fork. Well, that one guy's got, got that, that full brochure. It's That's crazy. Cool. I think so either. I hear voices. I mean, somebody's open. Oh, what's this? Oh, old Bassmasters? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Look at that. Are they for a dollar? Yep. A dollar each. Uh-oh. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, wow. 92s. I got all these. You might want to look at them, though. I might want to, yeah. <laughs> because I have all the 90s. That's pretty cool. A whole box of old Bassmaster magazines for a dollar each. <laughs> I just love the ads in these. So do oh, I. Love it. 90s? These are Ooh. 90s, yeah. Old man's loudmouth. They're old to us. That's what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them. yeah. I know you're thinking these aren't that old. Yeah, I bought an old uh, magazine. <laughs> Check those out. 1938 today. I love the ads in them. Yes. Field yep. streams and stuff. I love yeah. looking at them. This old classic stuff. champ, David Fritz. That's pretty cool. Oh, those are a blast. Remember what he wants? I do. On the old Pooh yeah. Super Seater, right? Everybody in the deep cranking them. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're going to shoot some of your plastic if you don't mind. Oh, wow. Now we got some plastic going. You may want to look before you shoot so you might right. see something you really dig. <laughs> Woo! These are cool. You having a good show? Three dollars each, two for five. Nice whopper stopper. Thank you. Nice old mud bug, that's cool. Some Smithwicks down there. I guess the, the young bait. Ah, uh, the old Alex Langner flying lure kit. Nice. What is this one, Mark? Is that a... Uh... That's a Chug Ike, Lazy Ike Company. Oh, it sounds like a nice top water. That's, cool. so it's, that's, that's got the Lazy Ike eye. Yeah, that's what it is. A, yeah. How much for this guy? This is natural eye. It's here. Four dollars. Four dollars. I like that Chug Ike, actually. I think I might add him to the old collection. There's a very sought after bait. Yeah, the old wiggle work. Yep. In a very sought after color. That's a tough one. Yes, it is. <laughs> I like that red. And weren't these like the 
for Zepco's anniversary? Yeah, it was the 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary. 49, just not 99. But they were having yeah, a great time. 200? They made 1,000. Yeah. Oh, one thousand. Yeah. Okay. Life was on a bus yeah. month. And they're all numbered. The reels are numbered. And this is still new. There's one in here that's new in the box. It's got the <laughs> Zepco label, and it's number 625. And, and mine is like number 638. 638. Yeah, those are super nice. Two for ten? Yes, sir. Or two for five, eight? Two for eight? Nice. That's what I meant. <laughs> One and two. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I feel like we're doing pretty good, but it's, it's, it is a. Uh... It is like a box of lures. You just never know what you're gonna find, huh? Yep. I was really hot last night. Matter of fact, I spent most of my time on this floor. On three? Yeah. stuff on this floor. Oh hey, yeah, here we go. Let me open that up. It makes it clearer in the picture. I'm gonna get Those out of here, all guys. Nice minutes. talking to you. You too, again. man. Take care. I'll be running. I'll, I'll see you again, I'm <laughs> sure. All right, all right what's that one? That's the one. That's, that's a revolution, yeah, a baby that revolution. That These are all B props, and that's 1908 or 1909. They only did those for a couple of years. So. Now, is that revolution? Is that made of metal? Is it what? It made of metal? So, yeah, aluminum. That's aluminum. 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 Yeah. So does it float? So it's like yep. top water. It's no, it's it. Uh, or does it sink? It's. it's I think it's airtight, so it'd top be top water. water. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yep. That's that's a, a wild bait. Probably not one you'd be casting too much these days, huh? It's a baby bucktail revolution. Yeah. What are those? Those are whirlwind spinners. They're all Shakespeare. Everything in here is Shakespeare. Okay. Five and um, those five. are those are the three and five hook minnow. Yep. That's a two and a five hook. I've got one in my hand. I've got the three hook, I guess. But uh, that's nice. An average it's not in real good shape, but I mean, but they're on the five hookers, what's just the average ballpark figure um, price on those in this condition? A couple hundred bucks, yeah. This one here, I paid 60 bucks for it this weekend, but I didn't have a three hook, I got the one hook or the two hook, the five hook. I needed a three hook, and now I'm at the show. There's a musky size that's about that's a five hooker, but it's about this big, nice. and it's all yellow with the yeah, red good. red stripes. Um, I'm going for it probably tomorrow. You know. Tell me about the bassarino. So that's the fisherino. Those are fisherino. So yeah. what's the difference? I mean, obviously I see the Between metal. Between the bassarino and the fisherino. Or what? Fisherino? What's the reason they came out with the fisherino? Well, they're a weighted head. See the front of it, the chrome part right there in the front. Uh -huh. That. that the bassarino, you throw it in and it floats until you start reeling it with that scooped head, it'll dive a little bit underwater, but it might only go a foot underwater. So this, you cast it out and you start counting one, two, three, four, five, and it keeps sinking until you get to the level you want and then you start reeling it and it stays 10 foot under or 20 foot under if you're fixing in 60 foot of water. This is one of the only deep diving i mean all the heads and everything they'll dive some but they'll only go so far down because of the buoyancy of them so how old are all these baits 1926 so almost almost 100 years wow 96 years old today they are great for 100 years old that's a very cool collection how long did it take you to make this collection 32 years i've been collecting yes that's cool i respect that i it was one of the i how I got started, oh, I'm collecting old tackle is uh, up in Michigan where I grew up. I was at a yard sale and there's a big Kennedy tackle box yeah. and I open it up and it's got, you know, several boxes, not just fisherinos, but bassarinos and babarinos and a couple different baits, alfoss minnows. Um, I, I thought, well, you know, I fished all the time, yeah. so I, I said, 20 bucks, yeah, I'll, I'll buy that, you know, so I bought it. I took it home and I started looking through everything in there and I thought, well, this is way too cool to fish with because I mean, you had glass eyes. The one I the one I had was a red and white with glass eye. You know, nothing special, but it just looked. It got me intrigued, and uh, I went to Florida on vacation, and we we were looking for books to read on the way down there. And I found we were at a flea market, and I found a uh, fishing tackle book, and I thought this will keep me busy. 
And then I, that's when I discovered that how many baits there were out there from this era and, and beyond before. And that's what got me hooked on them. From then on, since 1990, I've been... Have you ever actually fished one? Pardon? Have you ever actually fished one? Yes, I have. Okay. In clear water, so I could see it. Oh, that's you know, cool. I not only counted it, but I, you know, watched it drop as I did, you know, and it, it's got a real good motion to it. But that line tie, like I say, that line tie being up above, so you're actually pulling from here instead of here. Yes. So you get a lot more action out of it. That that oh. thing will go like this instead of just, just like more. this. It hunts it, more. It, it, yes. There you go. Oh, yeah, look some Bagley's, some Bigs, some Sisson, some Scouts. Scouts. <laughs> Here's a metal fin of Scouts. Or what they look like. Anyway. Wow, very nice. So look at all those Scouts. Those are cool. There's one for 15. That's nice. Guys. Hey, how you doing? Half price sale, Wally. Half price sale, all right. Half price. Fire sale? Yes, sir. Oh, half Fire price. Everything but these. It's a nice river runt for 12, 50%, six bucks. That's nice. Because you could, uh, I know I've seen ads, you know, J.C. Hidden Lures, uh, you know, and a series of Roebuck catalogs. Yes. Whose uh, poppers are these? You got a bunch of these. Yep, those are Clark's. That's what I collect. That's a good looking... Really? How long have you been collecting those? Oh. That thing looks like it makes a ruckus. A long time. Thank you, bud. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. A long, long time. It, it, when you start picking them, picking them up, you're getting bargains at half price. Yeah, those are nice. So who made who made so what what's the name of this bait? Clark. Just a Clark? C. A. Clark. Okay. We're made in Springfield, Missouri. Not Illinois, Springfield, Missouri. And uh, they made twenty different models. Oh. And I got over five hundred in my collection. Wow. And most most of mine are unless it's just a Special order or a real tough, tough color. Yep. Uh, they're all E minus or better. I might, uh, yeah, these are. Yeah, well, that's a, yeah, they're wow. great looking baits. That is a good looking bait. I'm going to have to grab a few of those. They catch fish. I, I fished a water scout. So, so it's the same company as the Clark's Water Scout, yes. just a version yes. of the. Okay. Yeah. There would be the guy to answer your question on the fin for the water scout. Yeah, what's the. So, yes, yeah, so that's what I was going to ask. So. These water, I, can talk, you, I can talk them to you. I know them like the back of my hand. So what's the what's the metal fin on the bottom of the water scout for? It's a fin, and that's that's where it gets its vibration. So it's not to deflect off of something on the bottom; it's just to <laughs> act as kind of no, a keel. It, 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 it makes it makes it run smooth. They call that a keel, and it and it runs. And that makes it makes it your bill makes it dive, and then and then that that that, that makes it gives it motion. And how did it go from the like the Clarks to then Strike King picked it up and Cordell had one and but uh, this was the first one. Uh, that actually was the second one. Huh. The first one is called a Noah. It ain't got a dent or anything in it. Okay. It's just plain, just okay. a plain, plain, plain body without that dent. It would be a Noah. Then they went to that, uh, give it a little character. They called that a dent eye. Then they went from the den eye and even changed the body shape some on it for the tack eyes, and the tack eyes are indented with tack, the, the black little pupils you see are, are okay. ta actually tacks. Sure. In so what's that one? Is that just the... That's a tack eye. The tack eye, okay. Right. Now, <clears throat> if you guys want some education on it, that, that you ought to collect these. That, you know... You're, not, you're talking about, you can buy them off right now, they're way down on eBay. You can buy them for 10, 12 bucks a piece to common colors, maybe 15, uh, you know, but, but buy good stuff because 
yeah, don't, don't buy them so well I'll upgrade it because I, there's plenty of common stuff out there that's mm -hmm. good. But they made this in they made this in a two and a quarter. This is a two and a quarter inch lure called a tack eye. If it had a red dot on the tail, it's a sinker. If it doesn't have that, it's called a floater. Floater. And the difference between a sinker and a floater is Clark made all his lures out of cedar. And the, the sinker is made out of red cedar, which has more oil in it, so it makes your bait heavier. The floater is made out of white cedar, which is lighter than the red cedar, so it, it doesn't go as, it doesn't sink as much. But, but they're all half price, and some of them, some of them has got the metal lip that the yeah, bombardiers, it's hard to find. I have seen, I've never seen them hawked with a metal bill. Yeah, yeah. All right, sir, They're hard to come by. I'll change my mind. I'm going to go with these now. You talk me into the Clarks. So are you going to fish them? No, what are you going to do with them? I think I might fish them. Huh? I think I might fish them. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, you can fish them. Yeah, that's 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 I, the I fish them all the time. That's the plan. Now, now that's a good one right there. Uh, that's a nice one. I got two two cranks and two top water. Yep. I sleep in the chair. What's that one? 10 is 25. And 10 is 35. Chris. And 15 is 50, 25 dollars. Uh, it's two sizes, and most of the time you won't find the junior. It, it, the junior would, that, that would be called a 700 model, and a junior would be a 1700 model. And it, a junior would be a lot uh, is usually shorter, and the mouth is a, maybe hardly as as big around. I like that frog pattern. That one's a good looking bait. Yeah, that, that, that's a good bait there. That, that's why I got 40 bucks <laughs> yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Let me see that one real quick. Huh? Let me see that frog real quick. That's a good looking bait. Look at that. Yeah, I Stuck right out. I'm like, whew. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. That's real sharp. I wouldn't, I'd feel bad throwing that one though. I wanted to get some to cast. I'd feel bad throwing that one. A guy by the name of Charles Six. Huh. Produced the Toppy Poppers. Biddle oh, Cone Biddle Biddle yes. 6. He and he player. produced the Toppy Poppers. Well, when Clark found out about it, he took him to court, sued him. Now, get this. Who was turning Clark's popper blanks? Charles Six. So he stole the idea, turning him. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, no, he was turning them for Clark. Okay. And so, and giving, and Clark was paying him to turn his blanks. So he was selling these so hot, so much that he started producing them. Wow. And just put them under his name. Well, when they did the lawsuit, the judge said, well, Mr. Six, I'm not going to make you quit producing the lure. But you're going to have to do something different to tell the difference in the two lures because they're so, yeah, you, yeah, you know, it looks just like, he said, okay. So he said, you got to do one, two things. You either got to put red chin blush on it hey, or hey, when you turn it, you have to put a ridge in the mouth and when you run your finger around, feel how smooth that is. That mo most of them smooth. Sometimes it'll be just a little, a little bit, but a, a true toppy popper will have a big V in the, in the mouth, okay, and in, in have a V in the mouth, a ridge, right? Yeah. A big, a big ridge. After the lawsuit, a big ridge. Post right. lawsuit, when right. it's wild, right? But Charles Six was slick about it, so I got a pamphlet, and you won't see very many of them. And he, uh, where he's put in the boxes with his toppy poppers, and you just, yeah, you don't see. I've only got two of them, and he, and he said. Mine are better action lures than, than Charles Clark because mine puts out more water because of the ridge and, it, and the picture shows the, 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 the bait going through and the water splashing out. So he used that to his advantage. And believe it or not, you would think that, that Clark would have said, you're done. You're not turning my blanks anymore. No, he still had paid him for his blanks. That's 
Now ain't that some? <laughs> Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.